we got a rainy day today and we've got to pull some cells. Maybe they'll be nice and gentle. The, the, the front just went through here about half an hour ago, so we, we got to get some cells out of here. And uh, hopefully they won't eat us up. This is a hive on market had cells in it a couple days ago. Well, here's here's two cells that done hatched. I guess I'm a day late and a dollar short. We'll have to find another hive, I guess. Let's see what we got in this next frame. Yep, queen done hatched out. Now that that hive there had two cells in it. I could have made two splits off of that. So it pays to go through your hive. Now I've got some burr comb here. We need to get it out of here. That's what happens if you don't put enough frames in your box. Now you notice I ain't got my veil on. These bees are nice today. These are the ones without the stingers, right? These are the stingless bees I raised. It took a while to, to get this here. See, see that hive over there? That's the amount of bees that's coming out of these hives. The front just passed. So these bees are just, they're, they're all in hive right now, so they're just now coming all out. We'll see if we can't find some cells here. I'll get around the back side of here. If you're going to cut cells, get you a, a nice knife that's thin bladed. That way you can get right in there and cut them cells. All right, here's a hive here. These are natural drawn cells. There's two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Why do you think there's so many on the frame there? Because I've confined the bees down to make cells. Ah. I like natural ones. Saves me time. There's 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. At $25 a piece. But see, if you if you leave them, they start to hatch out and they'll kill one another. This is one reason I don't like to use wire. They always put the best cell right by the wire. I use fishing line in here. You see how nice I can cut that right out? Cut it right out just like that. All you do is cut you a nice little plug, just like that. And then what are you going to do with this? This plug here, I'm going to take and put it into a queenless hive. There's one. We'll get you another. We'll get you a few here to take with you. How long uh, do you have to uh, leave them queenless before you put that in? Well, just a few minutes. They know within a minute or two that they're queenless. See, there's two. See if we can get this one out. That one's back to back on his other one. That's right on the fishing line. You feel it? Here? Here, crunch the fishing line? Yeah, I can. I didn't know how sensitive your mic was. Look at that. If you got a few hives and you make your hive queenless, you could basically raise all the queens. Now look at this. Get up closer. See that new queen just hatched out? See that queen? Oh wow. No. That just popped out of the cell? No, it just it's been out. Now what I'm gonna do is put this queen back in here. Let her go back in there. If that's a virgin queen. Take a picture. There she is right there. See her going back into the hive? Right there she is. That She's a well-developed queen. Now, let me show you where she came from. See that cell right there? It's already opened. I cancel them out. When I do, I squeeze it together. I'll put this in another hive now, and then the ones that squeeze, I know is already hatched. Uh -huh. So I take this, and I'll put it into another hive just for the nurse bees. I'll save most of those hot, most of those frames. 
Or you could take and take this queen here, put her in a cage, and put her in a queenless hive, and litter her that way for a while. Now we got to find us a place to put that. Where's your cup? We're going to put put some of these in your cup. You see it when I was telling you they were going to hatch out soon? Mm -hmm. That's soon enough? Yeah. Now, how do you attach those? Do you put them on a frame? You, um, you just set them in between two frames. Just like you do your uh, your uh, queen in a cage? Yes. Similar to that? Just bring it right together. Awesome. Uh, let's find where we put this. Okay, you find a queenless hive? No, this is not a queenless hive, but this is a queen castle. Ah. It's a way to produce four queens in one box. Ideally, what I should do is cut each one of these out and put them in each one, and I can make four. But right now, I'm just going to set it in here till I find a hive that could use them. I'll mark this hive. Now I put these little contain these uh, pieces of vinyl or uh, luon over it, and that keeps these queens from hatching. There's a queen in here. There's a queen in here, and each one's got a separate location. They come out, mm -hmm. so you got four ways to come out. And this uh, this lid right here is basically just is a weatherproof. But now you go through, you find you some more boxes. You can make that high there, 15 splits from one frame. Oh, God. You're only going to be limited by the amount of equipment you got. You can go through a, a couple hundred boxes quickly. And that's how you make bees. That's that's the easy way. That's not the high tech way. The high tech way is I sit you down and show you how to graft. Well, maybe we'll do that some other time. We'll do that another time. This is Mother Nature's way of making it. Strictly by crowding your bees, they make cells. That's the natural way. Multiply and store honey. What I said that time? Did I bring it down? Yeah. Here it is over here. Now, you see that one there? It's, uh, it's ready to hatch out. Here's a, here's a cell right here. It's getting ready to hatch out. If you look at the end, it's all thinned down. It's getting thinner there. That one will be out probably within anywhere from an hour to three hours. We just cut us a little plug out of here. Now we got us a new hive. Set it right here. Let's see if we got any more in here. Here's another one here. We'll leave that one. Now here's your brood that's hatching out. See all these are nurse bees. They're gray, dusty looking. Mm -hmm. Those bees was ready to hatch out and I cut through them. No, their life is too short. There's another cell right there. We got plenty of cells in here. And look at this, got another frame. Look at this. Been in here. Somebody's been cutting a lot of cells out of here. Look like Swiss cheese. That one's going to come out probably within the hour. Thought I just caught a glimpse of another queen running in here. Probably come back in about 15, 20 minutes and we'll have a bunch of queens hatching. Don't catch a queen that just hatched out. Don't catch one and then try to mark it or cage it too soft no it's well the wings are soft for a while but the, the thing is they never fly out and make good then you got a little mate before you try to box them okay put that in your cup and you can head down the road awesome thank you Tom.